a 2001 Chevy Prism, the Toyota Corolla clone. I'm sitting inside one, a five-speed manual. I'm losing my mind. I pulled up here in a Mustang, yet this thing is really cool to me. And we'll check mileage. 198,722 miles. I just drove around the parking lot. Feels great, clutch feels great. It's This was the A to B car of the early 2000s and I guess the late 90s. And I, if I ever come across one as a daily, I, I gotta get into one. This, this to me is cool. Pop the hood. Underneath we have a basic Toyota four cylinder. And for, again, 22 years old, thing still looks good. I'm sure it needs a little bit of going over. So it's a 1.8 liter inline four. Still a cable driven throttle body. Look at that tiny throttle body, that tiny intake tubing. But this, this is all you need, A to B car. I'm so I'm so down with this car. Six shift, four cylinder. This this is the ultimate daily to me. If I could get one of these, that would be awesome. We have the exhaust manifold in the front. Or sorry, that's the intake manifold. Exhaust manifold in the back. As you can see, the heat shield there. The intake manifold is actually it's actually metal. I'm very surprised. Chevy. Toyota did not cheap out on that. Got that uh, tan interior, cloth seats. They're still in decent shape, no tears. I I like this car. This to me, th this this is cool. This is for all the modern cars trying to be all flashy, trying to be all aggressive, and then you have this. You literally. You get a key, that's it. That's cool to me. When you literally get nothing but a key. It even has cruise control, being a manual back in this year. I'm not sure how many base economy cars had cruise control with a stick shift back in early 2000s, late 90s. Yeah, it's, you got your basic lights and aftermarket radio, basic climate controls. That's, it's, it's, it's an actual physical not connection to the blend door. I can hear it back there. Tires are probably cheap. Brakes are probably cheap. We got discs in the front, running on 14 inch rims with a 185, 65, 14 tire. And the back drum brakes, pretty standard for economy cars. 185, 65, 14. So, of course, rotatable tires. Let's see if I can get you underneath. Exhaust got a little rust on it, but fairly clean underneath. A little surface rust. That's not too bad. Th this thing is cool to me. Something back then when it came out it was just normal and boring, but now, 20 years later, 22 years removed, it's cool. That's how it goes with nostalgic things like this. They actually call it Chevy Prism nostalgic, but people had these brand new back in the day and they, they ran a made a B. It's the cheap little car. I like it. If I find one in similar condition, I gotta get one for, hopefully there's good deals on these still nowadays. Backseat room looks like it could maybe almost fit three across. Maybe. I'm sure if you had the Camry of this year, you could get it done too comfortably and put a little, some kind of little center console, put some kind of something here for a little armrest for the two backseat passengers. You're good to go. Cup holder. We got one cup holder for the backseat passengers. I got one cup holder, my Mustang total. Label as such. Get your little storage nets. What else? E brake, gear shift, steering wheel, pedals, AC controls, radio. 
a little 12 volt outlet. That's all you need. This thing is cool. I can't get over this car. <laughs> Headliner's still in pretty good shape. And then back though, coming out a little bit, but that's no problem. Yeah, this, this thing's cool. I'm about, I'm about this car. That, that right there, that's all, that's all you need. This is cool.